Blood Girls Fantasia is a third-person shooting game with action RPG elements and is the third one in the series. The game is known for the girls getting their clothes dirty up from the damage, Senna Kagura style, and from the interrogation drilling scenes, where the girls use, let's say, unconventional methods to get the information out of her enemies. The series started on the Vita and this is the first entry to have a version out for the PlayStation 4 as well. The story on this one is our typical Another World stuff. During a school festival, a mysterious portal appeared in the school grounds and sucked all the Ranger Club members and their equipment to a medieval world of swords and magic, known as Midgard. As they look for a way back to their world, they stumble upon new allies as they discover that Midgard is threatened by an evil dragon, and now they all make it their objective to restore peace to Midgard. Gameplay is pretty straightforward, consisting of going from point A to point B, killing all the waves of enemies that spawn. Some missions will have monster generators that need to be taken down as well, and most of them you will have a partner tagging along to provide you some cover. Some weapons, like rockets, can do friendly fire to your partner, so be mindful of that when facing larger groups. Most enemies have invisible weak spots, and hitting them will do massive damage, displayed by a head blink. Movement feels kinda clunky at first, but as you level up, you unlock new abilities on the skill tree that improve movement speed and other attributes. The camera though could use some work. It super sluggish and it hampers down the gameplay on later missions. You can use the D-pad for a quick turn, but it doesn't help much when you're surrounded by enemies and you pretty much need to do a 180 degree turn while shooting. You're gonna encounter some heavy slowdowns along the way. Every time it is more than like 10 enemies on the screen, the game tanks bad. This makes the game drop inputs and you constantly have to mash the reload button for it to work when the game slows down. The game graphics look great on the Vita. But a tidy underwhelming on the PlayStation TV due to the lack of an aging analyzing. And unfortunately, while the game does run on the PlayStation TV, it doesn't have full support. Meaning, you can't configure the extra buttons like R2 and L2. So if you plan on playing the game most of the time on the PlayStation TV, based on these factors, I recommend getting the PlayStation 4 version instead. But if you plan to get the game with these Vita limitations already in mind, you're gonna have a good time. Each of the girls has a special move. Most of them are an all-around attack, while the others summon a partner or a weapon for support. The special gauge feels as you kill enemies, take damage, or find feeling items. All the characters have an ability skill tree that focuses on movement, resistances, skill gauge, weapon speed, and other effects mainly tied to the characters themselves. Material slots is where you can equip materials, whose effects mainly cover weapons, like damage and the magazine size, and other stuff like increases drop rate, experience, or gold. The clothes and underwear seems like just cosmetics at first, but the girls' clothing work as armor, and they have to be destroyed first to team do damage to the character's HP. Underwear above level 2 rarity can come with inherited buffs, with pretty much the same effects of materials. Would be nice if there was a way to short them out based on the effects alone. Going through all of them to find out the one that has the effects that you want can be a pain. The weapons are pretty stage forge. Greater level means more power and possibly bigger magazine size. They don't drop on the fields like underwear and materials. You unlock a carta's main weapon as they level up, and other weapons can be bought on the store as the game progresses. Sorry, a legendary weapon drop for some people. While most of your items will come as a drop from enemies, some can be obtained on the chests across the map. 
chests can spawn in a variety of rarities depending on the difficulty level you're playing. And of course, rare chest level equals better loot. Give your characters a try. Some missions later on are limited to which character or partner you can use, so you can see which one you like more and don't end up being underleveled later either. After you finish the game for the first time, you can use any character on any mission. Now, the other main mode of this game is the interrogation drilling. It appears once or twice per chapter and can be quite uncomfortable. If you know what I mean. You basically poke, slap and fondle girls' bodies. You can also buy some foods and toys to play around with. New to this installment is the reverse drilling, where the girls mess with the player. I won't show much gameplay of this mod here, because... Yeah... This is pretty much 18 plus territory. Let's just say you can get tentacles and slimes involved. The translation team did an awesome job in really conveying what the characters say. One of my pet peeves with localization teams is when they try to make the script their own and discardize the original game. Looking at you, my dear factory. Overall, the gameplay is pretty repetitive, but it's fun. The soundtrack can be pretty repetitive too as you'll be listening to the same two or three tracks on the field over and over. If you plan on getting the Platinum Trophy for this game, get ready for the grind. One of the trophies requires you to level all the characters to level 99, and another one to get the perfect S rank on all missions. So if you enjoy the road to Platinum, this game got you covered for quite a while. This review was made a couple days after the game's release, so hopefully a patch addressing some of the issues mentioned here has been sweet, if you're watching this on the future. Thank you guys for watching, hope you found my review informative and thought it helped you decide if this game is worth your time. If you guys enjoy these niche types of games, RPGs and hunting games, please consider subscribing, as these are the main focus of my channel and I will be bringing lots more soon. Hope you guys can catch up with me next time, take care.